I'm Grant Robertson, and I'm one of the product managers here at Black Duck. And today I'm going to talk about Black Duck Secure Container Scanning, which allows developers to identify security risk and license risk from the container images that you build or consume, and also to identify which layers those components and risk has come from. I'm going to jump for a demonstration within the Black Duck UI, and I'm going to show you what happens when you scan multiple container images to a single project version of Black Duck and how it can easily navigate between different container images and the layers and components identified from those images. This helps organizations to manage secure containers and also to help developers focus on fixing the issues in the domain that they're most interested in, either fixing security issues in the base image, which they might be building for an organization to consume globally, or within the application layer, which is part of the actual application that they're then distributing out as part of their product. Let's jump in to Black Duck UI. Here we have a project where I've run multiple container scans of different images. Here you can see some components which are identified from those images. And when I click on this link, this will take me directly to a container image and the layer where that component was introduced. Here you can see this is a node tar image and this is actually part of a bookworm uh, container image, which I can download from Docker Hub. I can also see all the tags coming from Docker Hub, which we can also see within the Black Duck UI, along with the digest um, ID of that container image. This image only has one layer, and it's not very interesting. So let's jump to a different image. So here we have a container image, which has multiple layers. And I can see the different risks for those layers, including the risk for the base image and all of the subsequent layers that add on top. I can also see where a layer adds components and where a layer might remove components down here. I can also see empty layers. So for example, an empty layer might look something like this. So this is where no additional packages have been added to that container image, but a command has been included as part of that Docker file that built the container image and this has been recorded within the Black Duck UI as well. But by default, we don't show those empty layers. When navigating to a layer, you can see all of the components identified from that image. And you can also triage or remediate these components, or you could just ignore them. So here, for example, I'm selecting two components in the base image, and I'm going to mark these to be ignored because this is managed by a separate team. When I jump to a later image, later layer, such as layer 15, I can see that this command here is doing an apt get update and an apt get install command. This is having the effect of updating dependencies within that image. And this means that dependencies have been removed in this layer. So here I can see a component that was added in layer eight and then was removed in layer 15. I can also see components which have been added. And this last layer also gives me the net effect all of the components within my container image. You'll also see over on the left-hand side, we have a summarization of a risk coming from the different layer images, making it easy for developers to understand where they need to go to prioritize and address security, in security issues introduced from container images. Thank you for watching. I'm Grant Robertson, and please visit blackduck.com for more information on container scanning.